Hello all, I am Newman. Please click on subscribe to stay updated with latest technologies. Today we are going to deep dive into SAN or storage area network. Remember server data can be stored on three types of storage devices, DAS, NAS and SAN. So we are going to see the features of SAN in detail. In SAN you have a storage array connected to a server via a SAN fabric which is a special network connected via fiber optic cables. So this is how a SAN architecture looks like. On the right hand side you have a SAN storage array. It consists of disk shelves with disk in it and a storage processor or a storage controller. The SAN storage array is connected to a special network switch called as fabric switch mostly using fiber optic cables. Remember Ethernet communicates with IP addresses. So SAN network identify each other and communicate using WWN and WWPN numbers known as worldwide name. Now let's see how SAN works. The SAN storage array is administered or managed through its own admin console or graphical console or command line. Logical disks are created out of this SAN box and mounted onto the servers directly. The file system is located on the server. This means that after mounting the volume to the server, it needs to detect the drive as a locally attached hard drive and then format it before being able to use it. Now the server can store data onto its local hard drive like Z drive or D as in data drive. And if we talk about IO, only bits and bytes travel over the network. So you remember in NAS, the actual file was traveling over the network from the server to the storage. But here, since the file system is with the server, the file is broken into chunks into file system blocks and then only bits and bytes of data travel over the network. Here are some of the advantages of SAN. As SAN uses dedicated high speed network, the data is access is block level, which is more suitable for database type of applications. The data is managed centrally, which makes it easier to backup, replicate, and manage. SAN is highly scalable. The capacity can be increased as per requirement. SAN devices can be cascaded. More disk shelves can be added. And as you know, the data is not connected to our Ethernet network, unlike NAS. So that makes it more secure. We will discuss more about SAN components and some backup technologies in the coming lessons. Thank you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button to stay updated with latest technologies and click on the bell icon so that you get notified when I post my next lesson.